Giselle Bunkin. Yeah. I believe is how you pronounce Bunchen. her name. Mrs. Bunchen. Brady. So she's a little bunt. What's a bunt, Joey? Uh, it's the the cake with a you know it's it's a <laughs> ring and it's got the different size little segments. A bunt. What's yes. a bunt? She's a small bunt cake. She's bunt a bunt. small bunt cake. Well, whatever a bunt. Look up bunt in German because the hen at the end like made hen little girl. It it it's I guess a diminutive add on to make the word less than. So what I gotta now I gotta know what a bunt is. And I'm gonna say, it is a uh, thing. Cheese shredder. That's what I'm gonna go with. Cheese shredder. She's a little cheese shredder. Actually, she calls herself a little witch, <laughs> but a good one. She claims. Apparently, she's persuaded Tom Brady to be about the power of intention and believe things that are really going to happen. Visualize it, and you'll do it. Okay. That is a pattern of this world. That is not a Christian idea. We change our thinking about reality. We suddenly see it the way that God sees it, which is the right way to see it. And then we act. And if we have success, praise God. And if we don't, praise God. Either way, whether today for you has been ordained to be nothing but fun, you're... You're just, it's a whoop de doo Valentine's weekend, and I'm going away with my honey, and we're having chocolate-covered strawberries. Praise God. But it might be that you're going to wake up, and the pain is still there. It's unrelenting. You might wake up to the phone ringing and being informed a child that you love has been hurt. Uh, Whatever it is, we should be able to wake up and say, this is the day the Lord has made. We, we have a tendency to think on Easter Sunday, this is the day the Lord's made. We're all dressed up. Got the Easter lilies. It really smells good in church for a change. This is the day the Lord has made. We'll rejoice and be glad in it. If you look at the text, it doesn't say only on good days. Your day has been custom ordered and designed by God. You say, well, what about the bad stuff? Well, define bad stuff. Giving you an illness is not a sin. Ending somebody's life is not a sin. Murder is. He has no part in that. But God uses what he hates to accomplish what he loves. God uses what he hates to accomplish what he loves. God uses sin sinlessly. But he doesn't ever cause it. He doesn't do it. He's not a participant in sin and wickedness and evil, committing of crimes. That, look, if God wants to take your stuff, he can take your stuff. And, and, and if that's the desire that he has for you because it's good for you, then, then praise God because this is the day the Lord has made. Now, what about the crime? The, the criminal who took it from you, that's on them. Doesn't have anything to do with God. God uses sin sinlessly. To accomplish what he loves, he uses what he hates. Tom Brady, apparently, following the buntkin, which means... Cuff, or less commonly, wristband. Like I said, cheese shredder. I don't know. Right I love there you. in the front row. It's, that, it's that, wa that Apple Watch. It also serves as a cheese shredder. It's amazing what they're doing with technology. The host is never wrong. It's a wristband? Yeah, or cuff. Well, why would like those that are linked with Fly, links. tied together is the actual word for word translation of it? Okay, so this must have, this must come from somebody who did that. They made cuffs. Maybe they were tailors. Well, there's a uh, there's a newspaper in Switzerland called uh, Der Bund. Uh, I think it's Swiss Austrian, and that means union. So similar to being tied together. No, actually, th that, that's not what it means. It still means off the cuff because that's how they put their newspaper together. They just wait for the last <laughs> second, throw it out. That's Any other questions, Joey, about anything German, Teutani? I'm done. Brady said Bunkin always makes a little altar for me at the game because she just wills it so much. Huh? Power of intentionality. The power of thinking. And you say, well, that's kind of goofy. Oh, no, that's kind of made its way into the Christian church. Speak it, visualize it, see it, then become it and do it.
because you've got to follow your heart, which is the worst advice possible. That is the, when you follow the advice of the heart, which is always bad advice because it's one-sided and always favorable towards self, it is the heart collapsing on itself. That's what loving and following your heart and believing in your dreams, that's what it gets you. And I have these special little stones, said Mr. Six-Time Super Bowl champion, and I healing too, stones. surgery took care of it. And protection stones. And she has, <laughs> she has me wear a necklace and take these drops she makes. I say all these mantras. And I stopped questioning her a long time ago. I was just shut up and listen. Why? Well, unsubstantiated, unable to make a correlation or even a connection. About four years ago, we were playing the Seahawks, and she said, you better listen to me. This is your year, but this is all the things you're going to have to do to win. And I did all those things, and believe it or not, he actually said, by God. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? How often unbelievers and rank pagans, God-haters, invoke his name? Whether to express, I love it when you hear a Muslim do, do the OMG. Really? Really? Okay. It worked, he said. Did it? How well, do you they, know? They won. Answer, you don't.